Good morning, friends. God, whoo, he's amazing. Let's praise his name every single day of our life because God's got this. God's got this, okay? He is in control. Let's give him thanks. He woke us up. Woo, come on, he woke us up this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I got the song in part of my head because I do this every single day of my life for my children's sake. We need, we need to read, we need to seek the Lord every single day of our life for our children's sake. With the seven, I'm going to start with the song this morning. We're going to go to Second Samuel 5, 4. If anybody's turning that with me, look, I wouldn't even do it. First, Second uh, Samuel 5, 4. I'm hard right here. But God is vain for the sake of my children. I will guard the gates. And if I must walk alone, I ain't going any place. Entertainment, preach, perversion. With the fingers in our face. I'll lift the Holy Bible, get down on my knees. I will take a stand for righteousness, whatever it costs me. <laughs> He's like, it costs me a lot. Our nation has lost its values. Our leaders have walked away. For it's up to me to you to rise and stand. Who for our children's sake. Yes, it's up for me to you to rise and stand. For our children's sake. Well, Mr. Nelson, good morning to you, brother. We're going to go to Samuel. Second Samuel, because David reigned for many years. That's our topic this morning. David reigned for many years. While y'all search for that, what I would pose for station. Yeah, like well, that game last night, the playoffs in the uh, football NFL. Not NFL, in the. Uh, you know, SEC, excuse me. It, uh, we can't win them all, guys. We can't win them all. We're not, we're not Im immutable. We're not indestructible like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is. That's why we need to follow Him, not follow Alabama football. We need to follow Jesus before anything in this whole entire world. Cause I, I do this for my children's sake. We need to follow Jesus. All of us need to do this for our children's sake. Okay, y'all, please pause. Had ice on my windshield this morning. So I got my truck warming up for work. You got to work again. Man, men are men to work. If a man don't work, he don't eat. You hear me? If a man don't work, he don't eat. That right there is scripture. I'm not sure exactly what verse right now, but that's in the Bible. If a man don't work, he don't eat. So we need to get out there and work for the Lord. Work for the Lord, not for yourself. Work for the Lord, not for... Material things. Material things rust and decay. Thieves break through and steal. Put your treasure in heaven with thieves. Do not break through and steal with things. Do not rust and decay. For where your treasure is, your heart will be also. Says the book of Matthew 6, 19 through 21. Woohoo! Praise the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. God Almighty, Father, Son, the Holy Spirit put that in there. Holy Spirit put the Holy Ghost put that in my mind. Praise the Jesus. Uh, we're going to be David Rain for my, for many years. Second Samuel. 5-4 right here where the Bible says, David was 30 years old when he reigned. He began to reign, and he reigned 40 years. He reigned more than that, but I meant to write it all down, but I believe I'm going to read it here in a little bit. Y'all please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, help us all focus on you and your word, and not live for this ungodly, sinful, temporary world, Lord. This world's trying to manipulate us and confuse us and distract us away from you, Lord. Help us, Jesus, stay focused on you and your word. Jesus, help us all. God is all directed us all. Help my children this morning, my boys, my young men. Help them, Lord, and everything they're doing. I sure do miss them. But God, you got a plan. Sometimes we may not understand, but God, you always got a plan. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Help us all depart from from evil, Lord, as you say back in Proverbs 3, 5 through 7. Please, Jesus, help, help all the children, all the boys and girls all around the whole entire world to raise up, to to live for you, to live for you every single day. Help all the men, women, parents around the world to raise up their children in the Lord. Help us, Jesus. We, we can't be falling away from you, Lord. Help us, Jesus. I'm saying you are the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by you, Lord. You are the answer. As I mentioned, John 14, 6, almost every day, as you just said, as that, that's that scripture, it's not me. It's all you, Lord. Help us, Jesus. Have it here this morning as I preach. In your name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, my friends. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. He is in control. His name is Jesus. 
All right, all right. Yes, sir. Mr. Sunday School, Sunday School Children Bible. Amen. Good morning to you. Praise the Lord. We need to do it for our children's sake. Amen. You're exactly right. Because as most of all y'all have heard, Christ was born in the city of David. Here's where it came about. You hear me? Here's where the city of David came about in this chapter now. In this chapter, y'all heard that Christ was born in the city of David. And it says right here in 5-9. 5-9 right here where it says, So David dwelt in the fort and called it the city of David. And David built around around about the middle and inward. He called it the city of David. Now the Lord was with him. The Lord was with him. Number 10. 10, 10, 10 and number 12. And David went on and grew great. And the Lord God of hosts was with him. You hear that David? The Lord was with David. He was always with David. Number 12. And David perceived that the Lord had established him king over Israel. That he had exalted his kingdom for his people's, his, his people Israel's, his people Israel's sake. He, he was living for the Lord. We need to all live for the Lord. David lived for the Lord. That's why he, he named the city. And guess who was born in that city? Christ was. We're about to read that here in a little bit. David asked the Lord, should I? David asked the Lord, should I? Number 19, right here where the Bible says. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up to the Philistines? Wilt thou deliver them into my hand? And the Lord said unto David, Go, go up, for, for I will doubtless deliver the Philistines into thine hand. He delivered the Philistines into his hand. Because the Lord commanded, so David did. Okay, the Lord commands us to read his word. So are we reading his word? Are we telling people about Jesus? Because we go ye into our world, preach the gospel to every creature, it says. He's, that's the commandment, my friends. Let's get out there and let people know about Jesus. It's our job as Christians. Let's get people, let people know about Jesus. Because this is what happened in the city of David. He named the city of David earlier. We're going to go to Luke 2, 11. It's just a week, just, 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 just last week, a little, two, 12 days ago. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Y'all know what happened, right? On Luke, Luke 2. Luke 2. You're about to read about the city of David. Right here. What happened in the city of David, my friends? What happened in the city of David? 2 and 11. 11 and 12. It says right here. For unto you in this, is born in this day. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be he a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swollen clothes, lying in a manger. We just celebrated Happy New Year. We said the week before that we celebrated his birth. We'll celebrate his birth every day, my friends. Let's do it every single day of our lives. Because he is the answer. He is the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the ending. Which was and which is and which is to come. The Almighty. Woo Do I hear me? I say, the Almighty. He is the answer, my friends. Let's seek the Lord in His strength. Seek His face continually. I got a little song. It's a Christmas song, but I love it. I love it. Y'all push pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, help us out this morning. Focus on you and your word, Lord, and teach your children. Train up, train up a child on the way they should go. When they get old, they will not depart from it. That's you say in Proverbs 22, 6. Help us to train our children. Train our children over there. Let their children train their children and their children another generation. We gotta keep it going, Lord. As you say in Joel 1, 3. Help us not, <laughs> this world's trying to manipulate us and confuse us and distract us away from you, Lord. Help us to be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Help us to get saved. Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be that is made for the Lord thy God is with thee. With us forever. Thou goest, as you said, so we can judge for one night. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. I that place for that. But the Holy Spirit, you're so, so powerful, Lord. Help us, Jesus. Help me here this morning as I sing. Help my boys and everything they're doing, my young men. Help the boys and girls all around the world. Help the parents all around the world to train up a child and raise the children up in the Lord, Lord Jesus. Help me up in you, Lord. Please help us. Help me here as I sing this morning. In your precious holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, my friends. Amen. He is in control. Let's, let's come to him. Are you faithful? Because faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We are to walk by faith and not by sight, it says in Hebrews 11, 1. And so 2 Corinthians 5, 7, because if, what, for what, for without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay, that's eleven six. We need to seek the Lord every single day of our life. Seek the Lord in his strength, seek his face continually, it says 
First Chronicles 16 and 11. Because, oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Woo-hoo, right there, guys. It's David Rain for many years. And that scripture, one more time. For unto you in, in the, is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this he shall reign be a sign unto you. You shall be... And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. He is the answer, my friends. Let's seek the Lord in his strength every single day of our lives. Well, God bless y'all. Let me get on to work. Y'all have a good day. It's early with Curly. Bye-bye.